see how good that guy is, will you? <laughs> Celtics.com Film Study is brought to you by TD Bank. This is TD Bank Film Study. I'm Mark D'Amico along with Isaiah Thomas, the all-star point guard of the Boston Celtics. Isaiah, you're having a career year this season. After being an all-star last season, how have you taken it to another level? Um, just by, by working hard. I mean, I, I really took a lot into the summer of getting better and not just being content and comfortable with where I was at last year. And also, I've always gave a shout out to my teammates because they put me in a position to be successful as long as, as, long as my coaches and as well. So um, without them, I wouldn't be in the position I'm in this, this year and, and, and since I've been a Celtic, but um, it has a lot to do with how, how hard I work. And a lot of the things that you've been doing on the court this season, they're legitimately making my jaw drop. Like, like I don't know how you do it. And I'm trying to get this hashtag trending on, on Twitter, hashtag how did IT do that? So we're trying to get that started this season, but I just want you to listen to this call from Brian Scalabrini from earlier this year, because it sounds like he's on the same page as me. Take a listen to this. Horford will take it, back rims it, rebound tracked down by Isaiah, gets it off, and knocks it down. <laughs> How does he do it? I still cannot figure out at 5'9", how does he do it? All right, so now, now that we clarified, I'm not the only one thinking yeah, this. Yeah. So now we're going to roll through some plays so that you can tell us exactly how you did that. Okay. And we're going to start out with that play that we just saw. Ready to go? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. The Celtics are taking on the Pistons here, and you grab this offensive rebound. You take it in for a corner three. Not an easy shot, but take me through what's going through your mind here. As I grab the offensive rebound, which I didn't think I was going to get. It just happened to come, come near me. You see, I turn and look down at the other shot clock to see what, how much time I had left and if I was able to get a shot off. That's, that's just a little bit of luck, but also knowing, knowing the time and situation. So your awareness to, to look, I mean, there's multiple clocks all, yeah, over, all yeah. over the court. How in your mind do you know to look down at the other end of the court uh, to, see, to see where the clock is at? I mean, when, once I got the rebound, that was where my body was facing. So I knew I couldn't see the one right behind our hoop. So I had to look to the, to the far end and, and, and see how much time I had left. And I love the look on your face as you walk into the sideline. You're just like, yeah, I, I, was, I, I was I was telling them, I'm like, man, I, I can't make the open ones, but I always <laughs> make the tough ones. So that, that was one of, those, one of those shots that I usually... Um, somehow I, I make those. Speaking of the tough ones, this is not an easy play. This is a tough play. This is against the Dallas Mavericks earlier in the season. You take the ball out on the break and boom, through the legs with the left hand, back to Avery Bradley for a huge slam dunk. This is in the fourth quarter. Game's kind of on the line. Where in this play do you make that decision of, all right, this is where I need to go through the legs? Once I got the ball, I'm thinking score. I'm thinking let me get to the hole. But once he took the route that he took, that was kind of the only way I can make the pass to Avery, which if I would have threw a regular bounce pass, he could have got a hand on it. So I just went with my motion of just acting like I'm still dribbling and went through my leg. It's something that a lot of guys won't do, especially with a minute left in a close game, but I've done it before. So, How often do you actually get the opportunity to practice a play like that? I mean, that, that's something where it's kind of got to be live action. Right? Yeah, right. yeah, I don't think you really practice those type of plays. They just happen. I mean, with the crowd going so crazy, I, I felt a little better, so I had to show them something nice. I think you, the crowd felt a little better <laughs> after that play, too. They were all on their feet loving that play. I was loving this play. This might be my favorite, favorite play, not only of you this season, but of the Celtics yeah. this season. You, you straight up put Goran Dragic on ice skates. He's yeah. got no idea what's yeah. going on right now. I got this move from Damon Stoudemire. He told me this summer to start working on the in and out because most guys sit on my left hand. So if I fake like I'm gonna go left, that's gonna get me the separation to get back right. And hopefully when I get towards the hoop, I can, I can get back to my left hand. So I knew that that will open things up. I didn't know it was gonna open things up like it did. <laughs> the Red Sea like, part Yeah, like it. it did, but I knew with, with coming down the transition with guys sitting on my left hand, I need to show them I wanna go left. So to get them on that left side and then the right side's wide open. And I actually talked to Damon Stoudemire my last night and he told me, he was like, I told you it was gonna work. I'm like, you're right, you're right. Did you call him to talk no, to him? I, did he call you? It's or funny because I the the Celtics have put a this move on their Instagram. And then I had added him and said, you, you're right, it did work. <laughs> and he said, I told you. And if they sit on it, you gotta counter to that. So. Well, another beautiful play. We've seen plenty of them from Isaiah this season. All of you out there, just please, every time the rest of the year when you see Isaiah make your jaw drop with a play, go on to Twitter and use the hashtag, how did IT do that? He just told us how he does that. That's Isaiah Thomas. I'm Mark D'Amico, and that was TD Bank Film Study.